Welcome back to our channel. So, in the last video, you would have seen us removing the old 13C turbo from our Volvo 940 drift car. And in this video, we're going to be prepping it and assembling it and getting it ready to be fitted and getting it on the car as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, we've now got the um, exhaust manifold. Uh, we've checked it all over for any cracks and signs of cracks and any damage or anything like that and I can't see any. One big telltale would be that there'd be soot uh, showing in, in a certain area of where there was a leak or anything broken off it so I think we're good to go with the, with the manifold so we now need to drill these two holes out here and then we can get the, um, the turbo flange all mounted up onto that. I think that's the next stage um, to, go, uh, to move forward so then we'll give the cold side a get old clean up and then hopefully start getting it back together. So let's get these holes drilled and then we can get that mounted up. We might have to grind a little bit out on it. We will get a net on it. Do you reckon? Well, it's not going to hit the... It's going to hit the actual manifold. What? It's going to hit the actual manifold. I think that side will be alright. Yeah. I'm just worried about that side. It's very close. We might have to just touch a grinding disc down there. It's on, okay. it's on though, isn't it? Yeah. See whether we can get a nut on it. No. No chance. So we've got to take a little bit out of it. Yeah, need to take a little bit out of the corner. You won't even be able to turn it. Right. That side, the other side you will. Yeah. A bit more space that side, but like we said, this side is the side that matters, isn't it? So because mm, that's we can't do we can't actually put a nut on that one because that's all Yeah. Right, let's get that round up then. What do we need? I reckon my air one will do that, won't it? Probably, yeah. Okay, as you can see, I've now got the clearance. Ground that out underneath there. But the actual uh, area where the nut sits on isn't very flat, so I need to just grind a little bit more out of there to try and get that nut to sit flatter and not sit on the sort of higher part of the metal a bit further down probably see a bit better there so i need to need to just flatten that out now and hopefully we can get that get that um all bolted and pull up nice and tight with the nut flat to the to the uh flange hole that's better it looks a lot better doesn't it See what the nut looks like. Just got to pull that out a little bit. What we'll get it into place? Yeah, drop it down in there. Push this into it, and then you got to start winding it on. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, but I think. I suppose it. we could have made, or we could in the future, we could make our own exhaust manifold. Yeah, might even try that yet, but for now, I think best thing to get it, get it working, get it running. Well, we have no intention to put in this standard one back on so there's no point in modifying or there's no harm in modifying this one is there no what's the other one like when that one's done up can you get that one on or have you tried right, no i hadn't tried that one yeah i think there's enough room in there isn't there mm. not sure no i think we're gonna have to put the two on together Oh, you've pulled it out a little bit. What's going on? Yeah, that's better. You get a spanner on it. Do it up. Just 
just wanted to put some nuts on the bottom one so we can pull it up even. So, we've redrilled the manifold, we've now got the new T5 turbo on. Now to grind that recess out in there, the weapon of choice, or the tool of choice, was that. Perfect little tool, got in there, actually didn't take long at all, just gently just eased the metal out underneath the nut and then that even straightened it up as well. So if you, if you do do one, that's what you want to use. That worked perfect. We did try a few other things, didn't we? We tried a grinding yeah. disc in this one, and we tried, um, I don't know what it's called. That's a deep bear. Yeah, we tried that as well. <laughs> Rotary bear. Right, so um, where are we now? That's all mounted on there now, isn't it? I think the so. next, next thing to do is that little stud that's on that goes onto that central housing part. Yeah, we need to just nip him off, don't we? On Yeah. And we'll draw that up, get that flange drawn as well. For the exhaust. And we can start getting the hot side, the cold side bolted up, and the actual turbo internal. Isn't yeah. It? So what we were saying about is if you look in there, you can see there's a little stud and that either needs pulling out or grinding flush because that basically it's just a locator isn't it yeah right so i've also just remembered that we've actually snapped a manifold stud off in the head so that's something else we've got to sort out i think are we going to machine something up to sort yeah, that out i think you can machine up a um a little centralizing pin I think that's the only way to get that out. So. Yeah, so we'll get that out and then we can get all the turbo back together and get it all bolted up. Right, so that's the little bit made now. That should just sit in there and then we can drill out the stud that's stuck. So we'll get the manifold on now and then we can get that stud out. Right, so this is the stud that's stuck in the head that we've got to try and get out. So I'm just going to bolt the manifold up. Um, I'm not going to obviously worry about the gaskets or anything, I'll take them off. And then that should line it all up so we can drill the stud out. Hang on, I'll try, and, I'll try and wiggle it. Right, have you got some bolts? It's only enough just to... We can drill out. Right, what we've got here, um, Beth has just machined up a small little um, collar. And what it is, this size here is the uh, same size as the hole in the manifold. Um, and that's to get the hole dead central in the, in the stud that we're taking out. Um, we're going to drill the hole, drill a 3mm pilot hole all the way through it, nice and central. The reason for it being central is, if we can't use an easy out, then we can keep drilling and then eventually use a tap to clean out the thread and that'll take out any last little bits. If you, can't, if you don't drill uh, central to the bolt, you can't then keep going up sizes of drill bits because you'll end up being over too far and then taking out some of your thread, which then makes the thread useless. So we can have a go now. Beth's going to hold that in here. Try to. Yeah, and then we're going to try and get a three mil drill to go down it. Okay. I'm scared. Really? No.
Oh, very okay. nice. That's looking good. It's looking pretty central. Right, what, what we've done is um, drilled this out now. We had a 3 mil drill go through it. Um, just opened it up now to 5 mil because uh, uh, the bigger the easy out, you've got the um, the stronger it is and uh, a little bit more force that'll take. So we're just going to give it a try, see if that'll come out with that. If not, I don't really want to heat this up, um, but we'll see what see what this do first. So we'll give this a go. <clears throat> okay, that didn't work. We just got to make sure we don't snap the tab. Mm. I've got some, um, Little fluid on it now, so that's why you don't want too much leverage because you snap it if not. Mm. That is coming though, isn't it? Oh, I keep forgetting that fan moves. Should dig out all the the whole rest of the bowl in the threads and drop it into the middle. And that is looking really good now, isn't it? And it's loads better. Good thread in there, now that. Yep. Right, so we're now setting up the cold side um, to go on the turbo, and um, we're just going to cut this little um, location mm. pin out. Um, we've marked where it's got to go in relation to the central part on the 13C and then we should be able to marry this up in the right place on our 16T so it goes on our car properly. Push it downwards. Push it all down all the way around on this side. That's in. Is it in? Yeah. Oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. And that's still lined up with our marks. All good then. Okay, I'm now going to fix the um, actuator to the turbo. As you can see, a little bit of a modification here. The two holes here, which should be at the bottom to hold the actuator, uh, are now at the top because when we turned the housing for the pipe to be in the right place, um, it then put the holes at the top here so now you've got to make a bracket I try and make something to come off these two and then around to hold hold the actuator as long as we can get the actuator to push the um, waste gate open when that over pressurizes then we can see that we should be somewhere near then we can get it on so uh, I'm now going to fabricate something up to to hold that on there so we'll see how we get on got sort of a, a rough outline here to um make a bracket I think we're going to put a hole in here a hole in here and a hole in there I'm going to have to cut this out first and offer it up to uh, how that fits um, again I got my circles just by using grinding discs really um, brilliant things they're always you always got different sizes it's good for getting um, sort of bits and pieces to get your radiuses and stuff like that so uh, good thing to think of if you're in the workshop and you want to make up a little bracket or template grinding discs definitely do the job right so we've got all the mount for the actuator on now um, got it all in paint and everything so that's all fitted in on now nice and tight um, we're now trying to get the manifold and turbo bolted up to the engine but it's not very easy because of this oil feed up here is in the way a bit so just trying to jiggle it and get it into place but I think it's nearly there now so we'll get that bolted up um, and then we can start connecting everything else up.
Right, so that's the exhaust manifold and the turbo all bolted up now. Um, we've actually just had a delivery as well. Some nice bits have turned up in the post for the Volvo. Some more bits off the shopping list. Yeah, slowly working through it anyway. So working our way towards more power anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're really enjoying doing the Volvo at the minute and learning all about turbos. What do you reckon we'll be doing in the next video? That'll be exhaust? I'd say, yeah, exhaust, injectors... Uh, pipe work one. Yeah, so we've still got quite a bit left to do anyway, but we hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.